Hi guys, welcome back to Toto Capital. My name's Liam, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how we can trade ranging markets. Okay, first off, what is a ranging market? Okay, simply put, a ranging market, also known as a sideways market, is a market condition or regime where the price of an asset moves within a relatively tight range or within a range, okay? Bouncing between a well-defined level of support, the lower boundary, and resistance, the upper boundary. Within a range in market, there's no clear long-term upward or downward trend, and prices fluctuate within these boundaries without breaking out, okay? This is very important here. And this is what the retail believe, okay? They, they believe that price should stay between the boundaries, okay? However, within this video, I'm gonna show you how to look at it from a sort of smart money perspective, okay? So keep an eye out on this without breaking out because ultimately that's not how price behaves, okay? So that's not taking into consideration any sort of liquidity-based concepts. But keep that in mind, I'll touch on that in a moment, okay? Key characteristics of a ranging market, i.e. support and resistance levels. These are horizontal lines or essentially areas on the price chart that indicate the upper and lower boundaries of the range. So that's what I'm talking about right here, okay? Boundaries of the range. Support is the level where demand is strong, i.e. this bottom area here and resistance is the upper area, the upper boundaries right here, okay? At which the demand is strong enough to prevent the price from falling further. And resistance is a price level or area at which selling pressure prevents the price from rising higher, okay? So this is your support and this is your resistance. So this is the very basics when it comes to, you know, what exactly is a ranging market. So. Ultimately, you've got these upper boundaries here, upper boundaries, and you've got these lower boundaries of where price is essentially contained within, or at least that's the retail perspective, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can flip this on its head and look at it from, we're gonna use this as the core concept. However, we're gonna incorporate liquidity from a smart money perspective, and I'm gonna show you guys how to trade this exactly, okay? Within the range, you also have something here, which is this green area. This is the mid range of your higher time frame range, okay? So ultimately, the mid range can also act as a minor support and resistance, and this can be a good area of where you can be looking to take some profits off the table around the mid range, okay? So that's a range of market in a nutshell. Now let's pop over to the charts, okay? Let's just pop over here. This is Euro USD, one of the major, major pairs. However, this strategy can be used across all asset classes, whether that's FX, crypto, stocks, commodities, you name it, this can be used and applied to that, okay? So let's just jump straight in here, Euro USD. Okay, this is the daily time frame, which gives us our higher time frame perspective. Okay, I want you guys to head over to the indicators at the top at the top, type in fractals, fractals, and apply that to your chart, the one by Rachel underscore T. Add that to your favorites as well. This is on the basic settings, and you can see these white sort of triangles. These are your higher time frame areas or range sort of boundaries, okay? These are your upper and lower boundaries, okay? So let's mark that on. And heading over here, this is on my Twitter account, and I just wanna show you a trade that was pr provided for you guys on Twitter right here. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Um, shorting off this level, Euro USD, um, off this area, clear stop loss invalidation, and then these are the targets. And then ultimately this was the outcome of the trade and right now price is down at these lows currently. Okay, so I just wanna show this is the receipts of what was shared live for you guys on Twitter. So make sure to drop the follow below. The link is in the description of this video. 
So if you head over to the YouTube channel, head over to the description of this video, and you can see here, join the free Telegram, join and follow me on X, okay? Because that's where you're gonna get the most up-to-date information. So now that that's out the way, let's mark on our most recent high and most recent fractal low on this market, okay? So currently this is the most recent fractal low and high here. We can mark, these are our points of interest, i.e. these are this is the upper and lower boundary of the range that we are currently trading in, okay? So let's drop over to the four hour time frame so we can get a you know more in-depth detailed view on this market. So this is the upper range that we're talking about and this is the lower range and we can mark that on right here. So you've marked on your upper and lower range by using the daily time frame to identify the upper and lower boundary. This is the most recent area, okay? So that's marked on the charts over here. And what we're currently witnessing, so remember the retail perspective is that price should be contained within this range, right? So it should be contained within this range. We shouldn't break out of this range. However, that is not how markets work. That is not how markets work. We need to manipulate people and traders out of this market to provide the liquidity and fuel in order to, in order to move the markets. Okay, so it's extremely unlikely that price will just push up and everyone understands, okay, this is where we short and this is where we buy because ultimately that would be way too easy where you could just say, okay, we short at resistance and we buy at support. But that's not how markets work, okay? So understand these, this is the range that we're dealing with. We can also go ahead and mark on our mid range from the range high to low. Okay, and that you can see that ties in with these sort of horizontals here. You can see we've currently manipulated above this range high. Okay, we've deviated above that range high. And now price is coming back below the range. Okay, we're closing back within this range. So this is what we want to see when we're trading range in markets. We've seen a push into the range high. We've deviated above the range high here. And we've came and closed back below the upper boundary of this range. Therefore, we can classify this as a deviation. We have came above and we've reclaimed and closed back below the upper boundary of this range. So now we can incorporate the perspective of, okay, you know, this is the range that we're dealing in. Therefore, this is the upper boundary of the range and this is the lower boundary of the range. Okay, so now when price comes back into the upper boundary, we can look to short off this level, target the mid range, and then target the lower boundary. Okay, because this is just a clear manipulation on price, manipulating retail traders, thinking that this is a breakout and thinking that this is gonna go long. Okay, now that we've seen the deviation reclaim, we can look to enter short off the upper boundary of this range here okay around this area and then we can have clear and validation above the deviation high above this deviation high here okay and we can also mark this on here one second mark this on is a run on liquidity so liquidity top and you can see that's marked on by this x here this x is a signal that we've ran the liquidity to the upside and we've trapped you know, the anyone looking to go long in this market. Therefore, it's safe to now short and we can incorporate essentially some retail concepts to where they should act as resistance and then we can look to short that back to the downside. So let's play price on and have a look at what we're dealing with, okay? Price comes back into this area, we're triggered in this trade. And this is what was shared here on X, We've seen the deviation reclaim. We're shorting off this area here in validation above mid range and then lower range. So that was shared in real time on Twitter. Okay, and you can see we're triggered in this trade. Price is playing on, sort of messing around a bit. Okay, and then ultimately we start tanking to the downside. Okay, this is a very, very aggressive move off this level. And our stop loss is very safe. Okay, we've got stop loss above this swing fail here. If price is going to push up and manipulate out there, this all is more likely to then continue to the upside. Okay. 
you can see we've had to be very patient because we sort of formed this structure here in price sort of like chopped to the upside. So, you know, it's very important to, to understand that these trades take time to play out. Okay. We've got our invalidation. We've got our targets set in essentially forget, right? Okay. And allow that to, to play out. You can see some profits came off the table at your mid range here, which was around a one to 1.2 around that area. And then ultimate targets are coming into range lows at about a one to 2.35. Okay. And that's currently where price is in real time now. Okay. And ultimately price should continue pushing back to the downside. The liquidity is essentially resting below here. Okay. So that's where I would expect price to run. Okay. And so if we pop over to the, the weekly time frame where I showed you guys the, uh, the range of markets, let's see here. Um, okay. Yeah. Move that to the side. This is what we're looking for. However, we need to see some sort of deviation. We need to see price come up, manipulate and deviate, retail out the market. And then you can look to short that as a range play. Okay, but we, it's extremely, extremely, extremely important that we wait for a manipulation, deviation, reclaim, and then you can look to short off the upper boundary of the range with clear and validation above the swing fail. And then you can look to target the, the run and liquidity to the downside. Okay, so that's how you trade range of markets. Yes, the concept is very, very basic. However, you need to couple that with liquidity. You need to understand where the liquidity is resting. You want to see the deviations, the reclaims. That is the most important part because, you know, if you go blindly shorting off this area, yes, it is a key level. Yes, it is resistance. But if you go blindly shorting um, off this level without seeing the manipulation, you know, that's a losing strategy. That's a losing strategy. However, if you pair it with manipulation and, you know, liquidity, use that with your confirmation, which is the close below. And then you've got clear, clear and validations in targets. Okay. So just a quick video today, guys, on, on how to use essentially trade ranging markets, but using liquidity as the confirmation. Okay. So that's it for this one. Make sure you jump into the telegram below and make sure you follow me on Twitter linked also below. Okay. So you don't miss setups like this. You can see, you know, I've got about three and a half thousand people following us on YouTube at the moment. Over 200 people have seen this post on Euro dollar. Um, so I'm sure a good few of you guys would have executed and, and actually traded this um, to the downside. Okay, so that's it for this one. Okay, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, and, and make sure to note that it is within the description where you can join the free Telegram and Twitter account. So just click the description here. Uh, telegram and follow me on x as well okay so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye